finally, I get Kevin Ferguson, Baby Slice on my program. and trying for a while. Didn't realize all I had to do was hit up Antonio McKee, and it would get done. I, I kept calling other people, and then I forgot that you trained at uh, Team Body Shop. I was like, all I had to do is hit up either AJ or AJ right, Jr., right. Yeah. and it happened right away. <laughs> I'm with those guys every day, man. How how is it training over there? You know how's it how's it really how's it been? Because you you've had a uh, long it's, process. Yeah, it's a family here. You know, this is like my first uh, real gym, real real training camp. So um, at first, just getting the swing of things, but now, you know, I I got it. You know, and I understand everything. So it, it's good now. You know, everything's going smooth. You uh, uh you seem to take to it really well. Surprisingly enough, you you actually. Look good training from the photos we see and from everything we see out there. All the interviews we see, you speak very well. So it seems like you've already fallen into um, being a star in, in the MMA world, even though your record isn't – you haven't had that many fights. Yeah, well, I, I guess like I can say I'm used to it. You know, I've been around my dad, you know, um, my whole life, and I saw how he handled everything, and, you know, I was just learning, you know. So, you know, I've been around the game, and this is something I wanted to do my whole life. You know, this is a passion of mine, so – you know, I guess it's, it's easy for me to do it. You know, it's like, this is my home. This is where I belong. Did your, did your dad hold you back from, from fighting in the beginning? Because it seems like you're really mature for the level of fighting that you have. It seems like, obviously, like you said, you've been doing it for a long time, but you haven't really had the chance to be out in the limelight. Did, did dad kind of hold you back a little bit? Uh, yeah, definitely, man. Um, I, I actually was a photography for Team Kimbo, and um, I went to school for, three, for two years in San Francisco, and I started working in the photography field. So after that, you know, I, I just decided that, you know, like, okay, it's time, you know, it's, it's time for me to take this serious. So, you know, I got a job, I got a nine to five, I was working at a gas station and I was paying for my, um, I was paying for my gym membership. I was paying for all my gear. And then I got a fight in March, you know, and that's the fight you guys saw in my yeah. intraday too. So take us through the process of that first fight. Like when that, that day, they're making, you know, you're, you're, hey, you're next. Get ready to come out. Now you got to come out through the tunnel. Take us through that whole experience all the way through the fight. I was calm, man. You know, I was just relaxed. I was chilling. You know, it was funny because my smoker, my first smoker, you know, I kind of blew my load before the fight. You know, I was yep. all nervous, and I ran out to the cage. And before the bell even rung, I was like, fuck, I'm, I'm tired. But I, I went all three rounds, you know. Yeah. But I – I learned from that mistake. You know, it only takes me one time, and then I'm going to learn from that mistake, you know, and that's what I did. So the second time me coming out, I was calm. I was relaxed. I walked out to the cage, and, you know, I, I picked my punches, and I just stayed focused, you know, and uh, I'm even I'm even more experienced now, so I'll be more yeah. prepared for this fight. So what's the training been like for this fight compared to the compared to your first fight? Is it, been, is it that much different, or are you just a lot more calmer going through it? Well, the, the training is, is completely different. I never had a training camp before. Coach Antonio, he's my first coach ever, you know? Oh. Yeah, I never had a coach before. I mean, my dad taught me things, but it wasn't like, you know, that wasn't my coach. That was my father, you know? So yeah. it's the difference, you know? So um, Antonio is my first coach, man, and uh, I love him. I love the guy. I love uh, AJ McKee, all these guys, and they're great. They're great guys, and uh, they taught me a lot now, you know, now, and I understand the game now. You, how did you get there? Because you said you were in school in San Francisco. Now you're in Long Beach training. How did you end up in well, it was, uh Well, it was me and my dad's decision. You know, he didn't want me being in Florida because, you know, I moved from Florida. And when I moved from Florida, that's when I accomplished everything I accomplished. So he was, you know, he, he's been older and being smarter and being wiser. He said, uh, why come back, and, you know, and, and fall back into this hole? And um, we just made the decision to come out to California. So then we got with Mike Hogan. Mm -hmm. And um, we made the decision. Uh, we found a gym here. I was actually going to train with the Diaz brothers, you know? Yeah. But uh, I chose Long Beach, man, and uh, it was a great decision. I'm glad I did that. Yeah, so far it seems to be working for you well. Obviously, AJ Jr. is doing great, so it's a great guy yeah, to have yeah. as a training partner. I didn't even know that going in, though. Going into uh, the the body shop, team body shop, I didn't even know AJ was undefeated. I didn't know anything, you know? Oh. I, was talking to, I was talking to Coach Antonio two weeks prior to me coming out. So me and him used to talk every day for for like three hours, three to four hours. It was crazy, you know, crazy, crazy how that worked. And uh, it, it just, it, I just knew that he was a good guy, and uh, we would got, we got along, you know, we do get along. So are you working a nine to five now, still? No, man, I'm full time MMA right now. So where are you living? How you how you affording your bills? How you paying everything? Um, well, I save money, you know. <laughs> I'm good at I'm good at saving my money, you know. So uh, I just save my money and. I don't, don't spend crazy. I don't go out. I don't party. I cook my food, and 
you know, I'm just, uh, and um, I stay, I got just, I'm renting a room right now for, you know, like a 750, so it's not bad. Nice. Yeah. Good. Smart man. I'm, I'm, Smart still, man. I'm still grinding, man. I'm still grinding. Yeah, and it's, and it's, and really, honestly, you, you got to grind all the way through until you retire. Even if you make right. the big leagues and make the big money and make, you know, where you got millions of dollars coming in, you still got to run, you got to run lean because you get yeah. used to that, that comfortable lifestyle, you start to change. This is how it works. Right, right. So take us through Hamilton. He's your opponent coming up here uh, in November. Let, let's talk about how was how did that process come about? Did did, uh, did you just get a phone call and go, look, this is the guy you're going to fight? Or did they give you a couple options? Well, I, I don't really know the process with that because I let my manager, uh, Icy Mike, mm-hmm. and Coach Antonio let those guys uh, look at the opponents. And, uh, well, I don't even know. They just they just tell me, oh, we got to fight. I'm like, okay, let's train. I don't even watch tape on them. You know, I, I think I watched one fight. And I was like, oh. okay, I, I I seen enough, you know. I know what I, I seen what I needed to see. Now it's time for me to train. And uh, Coach Antonio, he breaks it down and he watches the guys and he trains me according to the guys they style. And uh, I'm just gonna go in there November 19th and do what I was taught, do what I was trained to do. Man, it's awesome to see you in there. I'm I'm really happy that uh, that you got picked up by Bellator. Um, I I think after a couple more fights, you'll start being pushed to the front. I mean, obviously, right now it's tough to find you on the website. It's tough to find <laughs> right. fighting the kind of because obviously too, you're fighting on a card with. Uh, Michael Chandler and Benson Henderson, two of the most celebrated guys of the weight class. So yeah. it's like M- MVP. Yeah, I mean, what are you, what are you gonna right. do? You, you got to You got to kind of take the back seat to those kind of guys, just because yeah. they are. I, you know? I don't mind, man. I don't mind. I've been watching these guys. <laughs> I'm just happy to be on the same card as them. You know, I, I'm okay with that. Yeah. As long as I'm getting paid, as long as I'm in that cage, I am okay, man. So who who's gonna be in your corner for this fight besides Antonio? Uh, AJ McKee okay. and Icy Mike. Okay. Oh, so Icy Mike will be in the corner then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, for those who don't know who I see Mike is, it's Mike Kogan. He's been around forever, handles uh, Gracie for a no, while. No, no, not Mike Kogan, not Mike oh. Kogan. I see Mike. That's my dad's manager. Remember he my Oh, I see I totally forgot about him. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I call Mike Kogan MK. That's MK, man. Yeah. Okay, so how is how has I see Mike been? I haven't seen him in, geez, probably five years, six years. Well, he's doing good, man. He's my manager now, you know. It was only right that I, you know, followed in the footsteps. I knew Mike my whole life, so. You know, um, yeah, he was my dad's manager. He's my manager. I knew him since I was, uh, you know, twelve. You know? Is he? Is he got a close relationship with Antonio? Because there's a lot of a lot of back and forth that has to go when you're picking opponents. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, they're pretty close, man. They they get along real well. You know, uh, it's like fifty fifty. You know, but Mike he handles all the contracts and all the um, the money when it comes when the money's involved and when the contracts are involved. And now. I let Coach Antonio handle like you know mostly the, the opponents or mm. Mike send him over the opponents. And yeah. Like, what do you think? And uh, Coach would be like he the last the last option because he has to train me you know so yeah. he knows how I'm training he knows my cardio he knows my speed my power so it's only right that he has the the last the last choice you know the last opinion when it comes to picking an opponent. Right. Yeah. For sure. He's the one I also has to see and practice every day and figure right. out how yep. to get you there. So. Obviously, you got a, you got a home in Long Beach. You feel comfortable in Long Beach. It's working for you. Yep. Um, what do you see yourself being in about in three years from now? A millionaire, man. That's that's all I, I want to be a millionaire. If it comes from the movies or commercials or spot whatever, I, I just want to be a millionaire, man. <laughs> I like Honestly. it. Yeah. I like it. So I'm gonna work hard for that. You know, a lot of sacrifices. Jeez, it's awesome, man. It's great. I'm finally, I'm great. We finally got you on here. It's, it's amazing that uh, how well you're doing down there at Long Beach. Of course, Antonio and I have been friends for a long time and, and a guy I respect and look up to. Yeah. And of course, seeing that junior come through and just crushing it is amazing. Right, right. Beast, man. He's a beast. Yeah, you got a great camp, a great spot. Kevin, thanks so much for coming on here, man. Have All a right, great man, time at your fight. We'll talk soon. Yes, sir. All right.